mitral valve prolapse. Mitral prolapse is an abnormality of the mitral valve. It is the most common valve abnormality. It is found in about 2% of the population. Let's see how the mitral valve works and how mitral prolapse can affect its function. The heart has two valves separating the ventricles from the atria. These are the atrioventricular valves. On the right side, we find the tricuspid valve, and on the left side, the mitral valve. The mitral valve is composed of one of the four fibrous rings that make up the cardiac skeleton, as well as two flaps known as leaflets, some tendons, known as the corda tendinia, and the papillary muscles, which are anchored to the bottom of the left ventricle. All these structures form the mitral apparatus. To visualize it, we can compare the mitral apparatus to a sailboat equipped with a mast, ropes that connect the sail to the different structures, and a sail. The two leaflets are fixed all around the fibrous ring, like a sail is fixed along the mast. The free edges of the leaflets form extensions that resemble a short net. From this net, cords emerge that are attached to muscular pillars at the bottom of the left ventricle, like the cords of a sail held by the structures of the sailboat. This configuration ensures the mitral valve does not leak. The electrical system in the heart causes contraction of the ventricles from the bottom to the top. The pressure generated by the contraction of the left ventricle pushes blood from the bottom to the top and in doing so, closes the mitral valve. When the mitral valve closes normally, the edges of each leaflet align and form a seal. The corda tendinia holds the leaflets in place and prevent them from folding too far up in the left atrium. That way, the mitral valve forms a barrier preventing blood from returning to the atrium. The only possible way out for the blood is to go forward through the aortic valve. However, there may be anomalies in the makeup of the mitral apparatus. For example, one or both leaflets may be too large, or the corda tendinia may be too long or damaged. We do not yet understand what could damage the corda tendinia. It's called myxomatous degeneration when they gradually lose their strength or resistance. Mitral prolapse is observed when, at closure, the mitral valve leaflets attach to one another while folding towards the left atrium. We can imagine the mitral valve sticking out its tongue at the left atrium. There is a great variability in the severity of mitral prolapse. It can vary from near normal to a severe form leading to the loss of the main function of the valve that of preventing blood from returning to the left atrium. In its mildest form, the leaflets of the valve protrude into the left atrium without causing the valve to leak, so it does not allow blood to flow into the left atrium. Mitral prolapse is the most common cause of mitral failure, or a leaky mitral valve. The situation may be deemed mild, moderate, or severe, depending on the amount of blood returning to the left atrium. There is no specific treatment for mitral prolapse. In general, good oral hygiene is recommended, in addition to ultrasound checks to monitor the development of the mitral failure. The majority of mitral valve prolapses never cause significant mitral leakage. People with mitral prolapse can lead a normal life without any particular restrictions with regard to physical activity. Go to iCardio.ca to discover a wealth of information about heart health.